현장의 명을 받고 영군 직소로 복귀함으로써 임무를 완수하게 됩니다. <목소리> 
I'm losing my fruits there. I'm a little bit <laughs> not in my A game, you know. It's freaking cold out here. This the uh, Butchan Anok village. I know for sure I'm going to butcher all the names here in Korea because it's a very difficult language, just like Chinese. I feel this one maybe it's much harder. People do live here, you know, these are people private homes, you know what I mean? So I've got to keep my voice down a little bit. And uh, yeah, it's pretty gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. To appreciate Korea is to appreciate this place. A glance of the cultural heritage of this magnificent city and country. Tourists in the numbers come here. They rent the hanbok. Ladies looking fancy. Men looking exquisite. Yeah, and of course, taking that killer photo, posting online, and everyone say, where are you? Are you transforming to ancient time of Korea? Probably. Yeah, probably. There's a sign, you've got to keep your voice down um, from 10 to 5 p.m. So you've got to be silent because there's people that, that still live here in this village. And uh, right now it's completely deserted. And it's fastly approaching to 10 in the, in the morning. I'm losing my voice and yeah, it's bloody cold, mate. Very, very cold. And boy, it's a very historical place. And a lot of people come here. Uh, just to just to take a good picture. It's the Instagram place, really. Casual walk around and casual observation and for YC, Korea, society, people here look nice. I mean, dressed really nice. And for the most part, my surrounding is clean. Very, very clean. And I walk around and I look at the data and I reflect on the things, the things people face here. Korea, it's a very developed country, right? And it's clean here in Seoul. I mean, maybe Seoul is not a full reflection of the entirety of the country. Who am I to say? I know this place. I don't know Korea. But of course, um, the data do speak. Speaks volume when it comes towards uh, the things you may have heard or the things people also say when it comes to anything Korea. Right? How here yeah, the people work insanely hard. I mean, the societal pressure and competition is very fierce especially when it comes towards education, right? And I'm pretty sure that over there is for senior Koreans. I think it's, if you need any help, you can come there. I mean, honestly, hello, hi. Cancun Nun Nam Nim Simda. Google Translate is helping me out here. And I sound so stupid. It's not cultural preparation, surely not. It's just admiration of the Korean language. It's so difficult. I want to say, yeah, Cancun, I want to see now. Yeah, Korea is so beautiful. Do you know what I mean? So, what can I say? What can I say, right? But of course, I know for sure Korea, the data doesn't look pretty when it comes to us uh, as the country that have the highest suicide rate. Right? And it's really sad. It's really sad. And how the pressure pile on people here can make them a little bit miserable. But, in my case, I'm here in this country just to showcase and to bring light to people, the people I stumble into, and then of course in not to shy away from the difficult the difficulties people face here. Because um, it's not right to do so. 
to do so, to see quarry ice, to tell the fact on the things I experienced, surely. Cancun Boon Nam, I'm seeing that. Shosha expectation. My Shosha expectation is not to get cold. Uh, there's not a lot of expectation for me, really, because um, I don't give a damn. But of course, that I think for uh, most people, of course, the expectations are quite high. And I'll be lying if I say I don't have any social expectation. I do, when it comes towards my family, you know, they expect me to be good, you know, to be moral and the things I do. And here in Korea, social expectations, let's say, it's a bit, uh, yeah, it's a little bit too extreme in some way. You know, how you have to look in a certain way, you know, your appearance comes number one. And that's the one thing I've noticed here. Yeah? people do dress to kill they bring the swagger on you know but of course for me i just got my soul jacket on and the guy just turned around yeah that's right you know everyone looking so glamorous looking so lush and looking so fancy even the foreigners as well they're looking so you know trendy you know what i mean like, it makes you feel like yeah you look bloody shitty i think i see more foreigners yeah a lot more foreigners yeah Korea, just like the place where I currently live in China, it's like an imaginal society. But Korea is a more popular destination than China, where people from all walks of life come here for a visit. Looking light skin right there. Black man, that's why. Very proud. I think my skin is so glorious ah, let, let's go black let's go black please oh much better much better don't want to be light skin just perfect in this way you know you gotta love yourself appreciate yourself right so yeah mental illness am i mentally strong absolutely come into a place uh, like this right where the language is a massive problem right you've got to be mentally strong if not you will suffer but of course then if you're here regardless of the language barrier with a great smile and great energy. People can feel it. Not like that guy. Don't like it. You probably have to go to the garage and fix that thing up. Terrible sound. And uh, that's the one thing I'm not used to, yeah? The sound here. I think mentally it's driving me crazy. It makes me want to like punch someone. What is it? Is it a punching bag? No, there's nothing really. Yeah, I'm in mean, here yeah, in this street called Hinsidong. You know? So mental illness, right? The stigma here. Let's say, maybe someone is suffering from mental health illness and uh, maybe they might be ashamed to go, like to seek help. Maybe some open finger, ha ha, look at you, you can't even handle it, baby, you know, a little toddler. But no, if you're mentally not prepared, mentally strong, I think you need help. Don't be ashamed at all. Wait, is, is it a plane? Wait, is it? Are we on a plane? It's not far for me. No, it's not for me. And they say, oh, and they say, I was about to say, Niha. Instilong <laughs> Street. Okay, what can I say? Do I feel lonely traveling by myself? Yes, of course, I feel lonely. I need a, I need a partner next to me, right? Kiss me, hug me, cuddle me, especially when it's cold. But then again, it will cost you. Love and cheap. Lonely times and how the thing goes. Do I feel lonely traveling? Yes, I do. I do. I need someone to hold me and cuddle me. Oh, yes, I do. I do. <laughs> That's my new song right now. Yes, I do. I do. I don't feel isolated, surely not. Well, surely I'll say I, I do miss um, my life in China. I do miss it a little bit, but it's life. It's all right. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? So, yeah, Korea is a very modern place. Still here on the street, people are setting up. And, uh, yeah, it's freaking still early in the morning. I mean, it's not too far. I'll be heading to somewhere very cool and try some food and all that, right? And, uh, yeah, it's just like some pressure. We talked about that. Oh, let's talk about loneliness and depression. You know, it's not a great thing, isn't it? But in a society that is normally quite developed right I tend to have this feeling now where 
if the culture has in some way has been lost due to rapid urbanization and modernization surely and that can also shift in the way people interact the social structure you understand and the, the sort of thing you usually find it in a more developed countries like south korea the uk the america do you know what i mean and uh yeah i think here yeah, it's totally different and i think um due to the, all the things i've stated previously i'm sure they the sort of thing right oh yeah do i get lonely at times yes i do yes i do do i feel like i'm depressed sometimes sometimes but not all the time but i'm always always out there do you know what i mean and people going about doing the normal thing delivery off we go that's it this is him so i'm gonna leave this place now Maybe the data is wrong about Korea. Maybe it's true. Maybe it's all true. And for the things I've seen and for the things I've experienced, it seems like there are more pressure to impress here. I mean, there are stories, there are really dark stories I've had about this place, how people overworked, depression, toxicity. I mean, the work culture, lack of discipline, lack of laws to protect you, the workers, and uh, yeah, the country continues to grow and it grows and it's getting richer and richer. One of the rich, of course. Korea is one of those places that is super expensive, super lush. And this meteoric rise and growth was driven by development of export oriented industries and the highly skilled, I mean, very, very skilled, educated labor force, fostered by strong government support. Where to find or see the Joseon dynasty of the royal palace? Then head to the northern side of Seoul, South Korea. Listen and listen to me if you want to see this. A show of class. Under the commander's direction, the OGK guards will be back to the major base. 结束执行守门军在守门将领的领下，正以往迎军执行。No, no, I came too late. Oh damn. While everyone's still in costume, they head into this place. What a show. What a show. I think I came a little bit late, you know, but I think I did saw a bit, a bit more, alright? And then this is the palace. Yes, I need a ticket. For all you history nerds, maybe this place is worth a visit. The giant Bokong Palace. Yeah, yeah, I'm saying it wrong, sweet angel, let's move on. This palace, the structure and architecture and the scenery, it's exquisite. Built in 1395 and surely one of the largest grand palace built by the Joseon dynasty. There was a large fire that destroyed a large part of the premises during the Imjin War in 1592 to 1598. And guess what? This palace was abandoned for two centuries. And when we look back into the recent history and the early 20th century, of course, the palace was systematically destroyed by the Imperial Japanese or Japan during the occupation of Korea. Yeah, let's say this place, I've seen it all. I just stumbled into an Indonesian tourist. How glorious. Indonesia, for those who don't know, it's my favorite country in the world. Of course, alongside China, alongside Malaysia, and alongside, yeah, what other country again? Yeah, Thailand, Malaysia, China, Indonesia, that's it. It's a gorgeous palace, gorgeous place. People dress in this nice, 
traditional costume, right? It's not cultural appropriation, it's more like appreciation, you understand? And uh, I think this is the right time to say this sort of thing, really. And uh, yeah, but you will never see me in this kind of like outfit. I don't think it's for me. I won't do it. Just won't do it. Sorry. Too westernized. Yeah, in that way. Very um, different, different thing, different vibe. I think um, Korea is not a very cheap place, right? It's not. It's not a budget-friendly um, destination, really. If you're gonna come here, you gotta make sure you have one or two things in place. You know, I think um, that jobs insecurity and let's say economic pressure. You know, when it comes to us and leaving here, like, the cost can be a lot more higher. Do you know what I mean? It's what it is, right? So Korea is not cheap. It's all coming to an end on this chapter. Going into the next chapter here in Seoul, South Korea. There's more to discover. And here in my surrounding, looking around, admiring the ladies in their beautiful hanbok dress.